Yeah, hello guys, welcome to my channel. It's been a half of frustration for so many of us out there due to the lockdown. Well, for the smart ones, I can tell it's um, an opportunity for you to get yourself working and busy to get your to get more skills, you know, before the whole before the crisis ends, you know, and at least to prepare you for the task ahead. So this day, I'm going to be teaching you how to use an application on your mobile phone, an application that can turn your mobile phone into an invoicing device whereby you can issue invoices or receipts to your customers whenever you render your services or you make sales to them. So this software is something you can use for your restaurants, you can use it for your boutique, you can use it for your pharmacy, you can use it for your mini marts, you understand, um, even for any service you end up to clients, you can also use this app, you understand. So today I'm going to be showing you what you can do with your phone. I can show you um, so many tips on how you can turn your phone into an inviting device for your customers. So take your time, watch these videos, you understand, and please a comment down there. You can like it and please also share. Thank you. For over 15 years, I've been rendering consultation services to organizations like supermarkets, pharmacies, restaurants, boutiques, just name them, you understand, and I've helped these companies track all their data, you understand, all their sales, you understand, and so many other things and which brought my mind to looking for the best app that can also run on a mobile phone in the same due to this fact that I've tested so many apps online and I've worked with so many applications for them and most of them will just call me, okay, can you help us study this software? You understand and teach us how to use it. So most times you see me running after different software trying to get hold on them so that I could just teach them to my clients. So recently I came across the software and I took several months to just study everything about the software and I found out that it's robust enough to capture every data you need, you understand. The reports are so strong, everything, every information you need and so on, you understand. So I'm going to be teaching the software. So I'll take it step by step on how you can roll with the software, you understand, and how you can use it conveniently. So please take your time to just watch these videos like it in the sand. If there's any question you have, you can always put them in the comments in the sand. I can always help you out with solving them in the sand. And please, you can also share it. Please do that. Just help me share it in the sand so that at least you can help other people out there to get this knowledge you're getting. So thank you. I'll try my best to be audible in the sand. And I love you guys. Thank you. Alright guys, firstly, I'd like you to visit your Play Store if you're using an Android device or your App Store if you're using an iPhone. Alright, so let's visit my Play Store right here. I'm on Play Store. You can visit my Play Store and search for an app called Kite. Here it is. Okay, look, that's the last thing I searched for. You understand? So in my class, class, you can see Kite Point of Sale. Just click on it and you get to see the app. This is how it looks like. I already have it so that's why I showed you to open mine so you have to you can just download yours in a sense so I can open and let it wait to load. Alright guys, after your download and registration of the app with your details, you'll be presented a screen, you understand the checkout screen where you have all your products. Right now you wouldn't have any product on your screen, you understand, because I've spent my whole time to create all these products, you understand, I've been using this app for some months now, you understand, so here is the welcome screen, you which is the checkout screen, the checkout screen is where you see all your products, that's the shopping cart, you understand, later I'll be showing you how you can create all these products, you can see I have several products created and services I created already, you understand, I also have them, depart them departmentalized, you can see, in toiletries, you can see I have them beverages, I have the protein, I have the sweets and chocolate, and I have the points of sales that the pure set up in a sense of them just taking part with the default, which is the all categories, you understand. And at the top right you also have where you can add your users, customers you can click here. I'll show you later how you can create your own customers, you can see. You can import customers, you can also add them here, you can see so you can also search by their name, so I will show you all this later. Understand, and I'll show you how you can make sales of your product. You can see, I can easily click on this. I can add that to the cart. See, the more I add, the more it adds up and it gives me the total. If I click on boy, um, boy slippers, I get to see that three items, and I see this. You know, if I add this into my list, 
I get to see that bottom four items and this is total amount, you understand? And I'll show you how you can use the search to search for products and type it, you understand? I can type something like ever. If I search for something like this, you get to see this ever on the list, you understand? So I'll show you how you can also use the barcode scanner. So the barcode scanner to scan for an item, you can also scan for an item by using the barcode scanner like this. You can see it's added it you understand you can see that the bottom it shows you at the bottom like in, insufficient stock because I already is out of stock I've sold all the ones I have I can show you, you can see just focus on that you can see now I have two of that the more you scan the more it's hard for you understand just make sure your hand is steady yeah you can see now I have three of it had it in a sense. So the more you scan, the more it has. So I'm going to show you all this. How you can give the invoice out in a sense. It shows you the total amount. You can see how you can sell it out. You can save the order. You can pay later. Or you can issue the receipt in, in, instantly. You can see so I can show you. So this I'll be showing you. This is the receipt. The sample of how this is going to be like. So these are all what I'll be showing you in the tutorial. So let's get started now. All right, guys. So um, that was just a brief um, explanation of how the software works. In the sense, so let's talk about setting up your company name. That will be the first option. So to do that, you have to go to your, um, this option buttons at the top here. At the top left, you can see right now I have my company name there. Try to convert. I can click on that, and from there you can see all the setup. You can add your picture. You can add other stuff. In the sense, you can set you set your password. And when it, whenever I click on this, as usual, they will always send you an email to reset your password with the link. And right here, you also have your user. You can easily switch every user. You understand if that's when I uh, must have taught you how you can create different users to log in because it's always right for every user that has access to this application to have its own password. You understand so that you can easily track who sold what and who didn't sell what in the sense so you can know who sold it in the sense so everybody should have its own password to the app you understand and this app is a kind of app that runs multi-store you can see you can have different branches and have each of your staff across all your branches making their own sales all you need to do is just create a username and password for them you send the link to them they use that username and password to sell from their branch and from for, and instantly you get to see all their activities right from anywhere you are, you understand? So that's how the app works. So I'll be showing you how you can set up your users later, you can see. And also your business information, how you can set up your business information, that's the company name, the logo, and all the stuff, you understand? So that when you print your receipts or send an invoice to your clients, you get to see all of them displayed on that. So let's start with the switch users. So if I click here, if I'm leaving the system, if I'm leaving the app so that someone else can log in, I can click on switch user, you can see then user can pick his own name. Now all these users have been created, I created them myself in a sense. So when you start working with yours, when I show you how to create your own users, you would have access to create all this in a sense. So let's see. So if I'm switching to someone else, I click on my name and I have to put in my password. Right now I don't have the password to this, so I can skip that. So let's go back, so let me enter. Now once you've come to that place, you can't go back except you log in. You can see now I can't go back to that option. You understand? I have to log in with my own password. So let me just log in with my password. Um, now, take note that every user has his own right. There are some things some people can't see and there are some things they can't see. You understand? So there should be an admin who has access to all these functions. You understand? Like my password is the admin password. I have access to every function of the software. Let me log in with my own password. All right, so I'm in with my own password, you understand? So um, I hope you didn't see my password anyway. <laughs> all right, so let's move on. So this is where you create all the users. We'll go into the later. So let's see, so from there, we were talking about the switches that which you already explained now. And I don't, want, I don't want to go back there so that I don't get logged out again. So right now, you also have the business information. Click on the business information. So here, you can fill in your business name that you want to appear in your receipt, you can see. You can fill in your country, your phone number, your WhatsApp number, your address, your email address, you understand. So after that, you can also come back to the receipt. So this is how the receipt is going to be like. You can set up your receipt. 
Yeah, so and the, that's what is going to appear at the top of the receipt, you understand? So what's the information that should appear at the top of the receipt? That's the header, which is optional, the footer also, which is also optional. So you can set up those ones. So let's see how it's going to look like. Look at this option, this question mark you have here. Click on it to see a sample of it. You can see. So it says this text will be displayed on the top of your receipt right below your logo. So let's see a sample of the receipt. Click this. So it shows that this is how the receipt is going to appear, you understand? Your logo here, your receipt number, the e detail, your company name and the address with the phone number, the content on the receipt, that's the items, board, and the total amount, you understand? And the footer, this is the footer. So let's close it and move on. So let's go back there. Let's check the next one. So let's go back to it. So let's go back to business information. This time around, let's go to, let's go back to the receipt. Let's see how the footer is going to be like. So for the footer, you can also click the question mark, which I already showed you, but let's just see it. So you can see the footer now. So this text will be displayed on the footer or whatever. So you can open it. Let's see what it's going to look like. So this is the footer also, which I explained to you earlier. So there's no point. So let's just move out of here. Okay. So going back there, and going back there, I just want to take my time. So the remaining thing you're seeing, let's go back to the business information. So we've talked about the receipts. Now you also have the online card. Okay, there's one option we skipped here. Let's go back there. Now you can see it says now display customer information also on the receipts. You can turn this off if you don't want it. But I love leaving it on so that the customers can see their details on their receipt. You can leave that on for them. Now you also have the online catalog. So we click on the online catalog. Now this is the catalog for your product. Every product you have in your store, you get to see them on the catalog, you understand? I can easily take a link from my catalog, that's my catalog link and send to my customers so that they have access to see everything I have in my store. That's what I want them to see. It's not everything I have, it's what I want them to see they can see in my store. In the sense. So this is the information of your of your catalog. You can put that your and your Instagram handle, which I just placed it so that at least you can also link it up with your Instagram. So from your Instagram they could see all your products. And you can also have this information attached to your catalog also when they are doing your catalog. So that's for that. So let's say I, let's say how the catalog is gonna be like view it. So let's use a browser. Let me just use always use Chrome. So it's gonna show how your catalog is going to be like. So this is the catalog now. You can see all my items. These are all the items I've created on my catalog. You can see the picture, the price in the sense and the description with the code in the sense. This one I didn't place an image for it, that's why it's blank. This one too doesn't have an image. This one has an image in the sense. So this one has an image. You can see these are all the items I've created. This one doesn't have an image on my catalog. So all I need to do is just copy this link from the URL as usual, copy the link and send to your client. And that's all what they can just click. Once they click on it, they get access to your catalog. So that's just it. So let's I'll show you how you can go into that. You can see you can see them accordingly. These are all of them. So let's just go back out of there. So later I'll show you how you can create your catalog. And once you're creating your products, you keep adding them to your catalog. So let's close that. Go back to kite. So let's say if you can save after you've done after you're done filling all the information there. So I can just go back. I'm not saving anything there. So right now you can also see my plan that I'm using, so there's no point going into that. We all, we all have an idea. And if you're done with the help, you don't want to, anyone to just pick up your phone and go into your phone and start working, thing, checking all your sales of the day or checking all your functions or your activities, you can easily log out of the app, you understand? You can just log out, then log in with your password that you created for yourself. So that's all for the business name setup.